What is up guys, Delboy here. So I just wanted to make a video about a fight that is on the undercard of Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo Alvarez 2. That fight is between David Lemieux and Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Fun fight, really, really fun fight. Two guys who are, you know, somewhat limited, it's fair to say, but two guys who are aggressive, who come forward and carry real power. You know, stylistically, it really is, it, it, it's hard to see this being a bad fight, you know. You, you'd imagine the styles are going to gel and they're going to knock lumps out of each other. David Lemieux is a guy who has operated at quite a high level, man, uh, to his credit. He was once an IBF middleweight champion. You know, he beat Hassan and Dam. Uh, he lost to Gennady Golovkin, obviously. And most recently, he got completely outboxed by Billy Joe Saunders. And um, since that Saunders fight, he's had one comeback fight where he won a unanimous decision. So Lemieux is kind of still on the comeback trail. Whereas Gary O'Sullivan, you know, he's had two losses in his career to Billy Joe Saunders, who obviously also beat Lemieux, and also Chris Eubank Jr. Since that Eubank Jr. fight, uh, Gary O'Sullivan has put together quite a few wins on the bounce. Uh, his mo most notably, he knocked out Antoine Douglas. Uh, that was his career best victory so far. But, you know, I feel that even though David Lemieux has come up short at world level quite a few times now, you know, he still had more success at a higher level than Gary O'Sullivan. And also, he's just had more experience at a higher level than Gary O'Sullivan. You know, Spike O'Sullivan has only really fought Billy Joe Saunders and Chris Eubank Jr., and you can throw Antoine Douglas in there as well. But apart from that, he's not really fought anybody. But, you know, David Lemieux, he's he's beaten guys like Curtis Stevens, like Hassan and Dam, like Gabriel Rosado, Glenn Tapia. You know, he's beaten some reputable guys. Uh, yes, he's lost to Billy Joe Saunders. Yes, he's lost to Gennady Golovkin. And he was beaten very decisively in these fights. And yes, he took some early career defeats. We know what Lemieux's limitations are, but all I'm saying is he's had a, he's had a lot more experience at, at a higher level than Spike O'Sullivan, and he's actually got better wins than Spike O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan is coming into this fight with good momentum, as I said. Several back-to-back -back wins since that Eubank Jr. defeat. Um, so he's coming into the ring with confidence, no doubt, but I feel overall, I actually think Spike O'Sullivan will be overpowered by David Lemieux. I think David Lemieux is physically the stronger man. I think he's the bigger puncher. He's more experienced, like I said. And if these guys are trading, yes, I feel Gary O'Sullivan can. Obviously, he can hurt Lemieux. Lemieux gives him opportunities, and Lemieux has been hurt in the past, and he's been stopped in the past. Of course, Gary O'Sullivan has a chance. He's got a puncher's chance, but I just feel in the exchanges, he's going to take the, the worst of a punishment. And he's going to get ground down by David Lemieux. Stylistically, if you're picking somebody to make David Lemieux look good, you know, you're going to pick somebody like Gary O'Sullivan. The only thing O'Sullivan has really to trouble Lemieux is his punching power. He doesn't really have anything else to trouble Lemieux. Um, and Lemieux, yes, he has been stopped, like I said, but he has got quite a good chin. So overall, I really feel O'Sullivan is probably up against it, you know, physically. I think, like I say, Lemieux's stronger, he's a bigger puncher, he's more experienced. I think I, th I think O'Sullivan's up against it, but he does have a puncher's chance, and it is a really good undercard fight. You know, these are the type of fights I want to see on undercards. Uh, it could be a bit of a bloodbath, and that's always good. Um, you know, um, good, good fight, I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to go with a David Lemieux win, um, probably by stoppage in the mid to late rounds. Uh, Lemieux's hot and cold though, that's another thing I've got to say. Sometimes Lemieux comes in the ring with tremendous intensity and he'll, and he'll blow guys away. You know, look at the Fernando Guerrero fight and even the Rosado fight and the Dam fight, you know. In those three fights, he really started strongly and, you know, he was really, really aggressive in those fights and he, and he, and he really carried out a good intensity for each round. But in other fights where he's not really feeling it, like for example the Christian Fabian Rios fight, you know, he really went through the motions and he looked average. The Marcos Reyes fight, also another one where he looked average. Um, so David Lemieux is hot and cold. You know, if, if he's in the mood, I think he could actually go straight through Spike O'Sullivan. If he's not really on it, you know, it could really be a competitive fight. But still, I'd expect Lemieux to have too much. Good fight. You know, looking forward to it. What do you guys think? Peace.